And first tonight, we are continuing to follow breaking news out of Cincinnati, where Bill's safety, DeMar Hamlin, is currently hospitalized and in critical condition. Hamlin was playing with his team against the Bengals when he made a tackle, stood up briefly before collapsing. That game was postponed. A lot to digest in this unprecedented night in the NFL. Let's bring in Denver 7 Sports Director Lionel Bienvenu with an update. We haven't got any updates in the last hour. Uh, the UC Medical Center, where DeMar Hamlin is, uh, says they will not be making an update anytime soon. But fans have gathered outside of that hospital in support of Hamlin and his family. And we do have a tweet from DeMar Hamlin's marketing agent, Jordan Rooney. He posted on Twitter tonight saying that Hamlin's vital signs are back to normal, but they have inserted a breathing tube down his throat. Now, you saw the game right here on Denver 7 tonight, Monday Night Football. He got up from what looked like a routine tackle and then collapsed after a few seconds. The NFL released a statement saying that he received immediate treatment on the field, including CPR and life-saving procedures. Then he was taken to a Cincinnati hospital. And again, as we said, he's listed in critical condition. And the game was postponed, which was the right decision and the only decision to make in this case. DeMar Hamlin, by all accounts, a great young player, great kid. Went over to hug his family and his mom before a recent game. He's 24 years old. He's a six-round pick out of Pittsburgh. He's a young up-and-coming player for one of the league's best teams. And uh, reports are his mom did get down on the field, and she was in the ambulance with him when they took him to the hospital. Social media tonight, everybody sending thoughts and prayers. The Broncos posted this tweet. All of Broncos country is praying for you. Broncos players posting as well. You saw Patrick Sertan and Russell Wilson offering up their prayers. And our Troy Rank texting with lots of Broncos players tonight, mostly just saying one thing. Really, all you can say in this situation is prayers for DeMar and his family. Lionel, thank you. And former Broncos player Nick Ferguson, he was watching the game tonight, and he spoke with Denver 7 tonight, saying after a decade in the NFL, he has never seen anything like that before. Sometimes the, these things do happen, but they are very rare that they do. What we are seeing is something that we've never seen before. I know I've never seen before. So it is jarring to see for the first time, but just know that this is not something that happens all the time. And I just hope that the people and the staff, medical staff, they're able to get out there and give the guy, the minister, the health care that he needs. So uh, my fingers are crossed. I'm praying for Hamlin, and I'm hoping that we're going to get some good news uh, uh, in moments. And Ferguson added that suspending the game was the right call tonight because at the end of the day, he says these are people, not just players. Oh.